G'day mate, welcome back to Captain of Industry with me, JD. In our last episode, last episode, we did a few things. We went and added a little bit more iron smelting and even managed to get a conveyor belt to actually start moving around the iron ore, ore automagically for us. I just cut down that transport a little bit, but of course, more transport belts require more power. So we came over here and we got some heavy duty generators up and running along with this giant flywheel which is basically three large chunks of iron running around and around in circles making sure that we have some stored mechanical force to run into our generators when it is time to actually get some power up and running which now means that we are the proud owner of up to 1.6 megawatts also means that we've stopped burning off our gasoline in uh, the diesel generators. Which is good, because we don't have a lot of fuel. Like, we really don't have a lot of fuel. We're still burning through coal at an amazing rate. Uh, such an amazing rate that I've actually asked for an extra couple of trucks, uh, along with a extra couple of excavators to be built, so we can start excavating coal even faster. You know what? We're just going to send two trucks here right now. Also need to do the same with iron. This is why we have other trucks on order. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine on trucks here, for here. We just need to start digging it faster. If I do that, I'm gonna end up running out of sand without knowing. Um, okay, so today's episode, I actually wanna do oil, okay? We have the cargo depot, which is uh, making us a bunch of oil or going and getting a bunch of oil from our oil derrick uh order magically ship goes back and forth in fact it's pulling up right now it has 180 bar uh, barrels of crude oil which are not stored in barrels for the record uh they just go straight into said pump and get dumped straight in here at which point it goes along this pipeline into our current oil now our current oil does go through a pipe balancer which makes sure that we use our uh, off-world oil or off-island off oil. Off-island oil over uh, our pre-tanked oil from, you know, what we're actually digging up because that is a finite resource and we are slowly burning through it. So what we want to do is we want to set up brand new oil, which I'm willing to bet is going to be some sort of nasty nightmare. Uh, okay, so distillation stage one requires uh, oil, great, high-pressure steam, Technically, we have high pressure steam over here. In fact, because of the efficiency of this system, we tend to actually have a fair bit of high pressure steam available. Can I get some sort of balancer in there? Not really. Okay, we might have to come back to this problem. Uh, but we should be able to get... Oh, great. That's pipes on pipes. Okay, we should be able to get at least some parts of this up and running. Um, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we're going to have to bring in crude oil plus high-pressure steam to get out medium oil, heavy oil, and sour water. Uh, the stage two is going to take in medium, medium oil plus more high-pressure steam to get out diesel and light oil. Light oil is going to go in with more steam to create naphtha and plus fuel gas and really the one thing we're trying to get is we're trying to get the naphtha with some coal to make rubber. Because that's the one item we don't have currently as a renewable resource. And you need 100 megawatts worth of power, you need zero, you need zero, you need zero. And if we take fuel gas, which was a byproduct here, and combine it with oxygen, we get more diesel plus some carbon dioxide. So we have some options. So... You make 24 medium, which goes into there. It's 24 medium, which makes 12 light. 12 light goes into there with 9 naphtha. 9 naphtha is not a, a, a nicely divisible number. We have some excess we need to deal with. Okie dokie. All right, so let's go through this stage by stage. We're going to need oil first. Uh, so we're going to put on the planning mode. And I'm going to pop these down. Now, because we're in planning mode, everything automatically goes down as do not build. Uh, from there, we're going to go straight into that one. And I'm thinking, maybe not a direct connection. Maybe just a two-tile gap. So we have some room to get some pipes in and out on the side. 
Uh, and then you're going to produce 12. 12 can go into there. You I can put hard up against one another because the steam pipe is definitely separated. Uh, we're going to grab this and we're going to bring you... Actually, we'll bring you up to height number 3 straight away. And... Can I plug that incompatible port at start? I need... Okay. Problem is, I don't know where the steam's going to come from. I'm going to assume it's going to come from over here, but it might not. Alright, we're going to start... Oh, because pipes have a direction. We might have to redo the directions. Okay, you go to there. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. You're going to have to come out of tile. If you're going to have to come... Oh. If you're going to have to come out of tile, we might as well start out of tile. Uh, we're going to change that. Plus that. Plus that. Uh, we'll plug you, oh, you into you. Okay, so then we have gasoline. Gasoline, we're going to plug straight into there. Now, because we're in pause mode, things don't build automatically, which is very, very important, and I'm going to probably raise this on uh, the Discord server. That connection, actually, we'll pause the game very quickly, stops the diesel flowing because it's an unbuilt item. Even though the unbuilt item costs cost no construction parts, probably should get built and if I cancel the pipe cancelled instantly yeah we now have diesel flowing again uh, okay so that's our diesel uh, and then oh hang on naphtha is so that's 12 naphtha out and we only need nine of it you know what uh, tank, tank 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 storage fluid storage yeah. Oh, fluid storage, or do we put it into a a? No, actually, let's just leave that. Let's leave that for the moment because I might put it into a balancer. Um. Okay. So oil, oil, we'll do first. Oil, we want to prioritize actually out of that one. Let's build you up three tiles and bring you this way. Come on. I'm going to bring it straight along. Manifold styles so I can... That was really uncalled for, please. Oh, really? It's one tile too close. You know what? I'm actually going to cancel it, and we're going to build it one tile further out. Okay, one, two, three. Max height. Uh, leave that right there. And bring you... From there, into there. Okay. And then more importantly, I can continue going this way, yes. Okay. So we have heavy oil. Heavy oil and sour water. Now, sour water is an easy one. That's that pipe there. That pipe there, we are literally just going to take straight across the map. Uh, at height number three. I don't want to move everything over three tiles. Uh, talk about here. Now, sour water needs to go into the waste management, i.e. the recycling little bin, and into one of these. Now... I can build a new one of these, which we're going to do right there. Yes. At the same time, I'm going to hook that into there. I'm also going to build another storage tank right here to grab our sour water and also run it to the exact same uh, output. And the idea of this is you can do either or. So you can either do the wastewater or the sour water. I've just got to make sure there's a little bit of room in the pipes for you to do so. So we're going to unpause you, unpause you, and unpause you, because I actually want that built. Yeah, you could be hanging out over the middle of nowhere. That's fine. All right, so which means eventually I can get rid of this one. So we're literally removing this one, building this one here, only because I can't actually plug into this which is really annoying and obviously a hindsight okay so uh heavy oil was one of the things so 
We have heavy oil and we require steam. Now I did hack it, did get access to a boiler gas. So you used 36 heavy oil to make 48 steam. Plus a whole lot of exhaust. And we don't need quite that much, do we? No. The other option is a flare. We just burn it off. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into transports. We're going to put in a pipe balancer right here. Yeah, a pipe balancer here. Plug you into you. We'll then go into it and have a storage tank. Oh, that doesn't connect. Okay. Uh, and then from the storage tank, we will go into water, uh, boiler gas, which has all the inputs at that end, and you output steam. We're going to put you there, we'll plug you into you, plug the steam, go up two cars. There, we can cancel that pipe and plug that. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, actually, no, let's just cancel that real quick. Uh, no, that's built the wrong direction. Okay, try again. Out of here. Up two tiles. Um, I really want you to stay up higher. Sure. Alright, so you're going to output steam into there. On top of that, you're going to need a flare stack. Uh, one of these, not a flare stack, a smoke stack. We'll put it here in case we want to plug something else into it. I don't think we will, but you never know. And then finally, we're going to need a flare here. So if we're producing too much heavy oil, it can get burnt off. Okay, and then you go back to oil. Uh, you have everything plugged into you, so I don't have to worry about you. You have natural gas. <sighs> Fuel gas, rather which we can take fuel gas plus oxygen to give us diesel and carbon dioxide. So again, I think I want one of these. Once again, plug that into there. Then we'll put a storage to that side. We'll put you into storage you into the flare stack so we can burn off the excess if we needs be then we'll put a cracking unit that's um detailed uh fuel fuel is that part so if i put you there we should be able to take the gasoline and bring it into This pipe? Am I going lower? No? Okay. That pipe. And then we need to give you natural oxygen. We need to give you oxygen. You're only going to make... Hang on. You're going to make 12. And we need a... What was the other item? A... Air separator. Okay. How do I get rid of nitrogen? That's a whole different question. Uh, let's pop you there. Uh, flare. Did not get rid of nitrogen. Smokestack does get rid of nitrogen. Okay. So we're going to spend the energy cost to get nitrogen to just literally vent it. Fine. Uh, and then that finally leaves the naphtha. 
which goes into the rubber maker. Uh, no, it goes into a storage tank because it's pretty important. Uh, and then into the rubber maker, which is... Oh, which can also accept gasoline. You know what? We're going to give you a little break. Just in case. Uh, okay. No, we're going to put one of these in here. Two tiles. Right to there. Uh, that was three. Cancel. Cancel. Two tiles. And then we'll put the rubber maker. And then what? Uh, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel you. And we're just going to plug that in with a direct pipe for now. Okay, so you're going to make rubber. With coal in there and that rubber out there. Okay, so we're going to go building, so, uh, storage, storage, rubber. I haven't had a vast need for rubber, but. I think it's pretty wise now to start doubling up our warehouses. Uh, oh, that's built around the wrong way. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, that's great now. Okay. Uh, technically, trucks can't get into the middle, but that should be fine. Uh, we're going to put in. There. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me the storage belt. It, it really doesn't like being in the belt. Okay. Uh, we're going to go with flat conveyor from there to there. And you're sitting coal and you... Nope. You have coal. Except there's never any coal on there. Uh, truck import on, truck export off. Okay. So we could take coal. That's a very long way for a belt. Sure. Close-ish. Actually, I'm going to run it straight past. And then we'll run from there. From there. Up. And then I can cancel the, the uh, leftover. Okay. Is that our oil built? If we bring this up, do I see anything not connected? Uh, I see you outputting CO2. CO2 is not connected. That's why we check. Uh, can I... Well, that's technically valid. Uh, or I have one over here. You're producing 24 and you can burn off 600. So I think... I'm going to take our CO2 this way. Uh, I think everything is good. So you're done. We're gonna demolish you. And then you'll just flow your wastewater into there, which will make us happy. And then we're gonna bring up the pause tool and we're just gonna right click on right click and drag. And everything is gonna get marked as to build it right now, please. And then in theory, I should be able to press F eleven. We should be able to do a little montage. Well, you go plan out a perfectly uh, well laid uh montage and then find out you ran out of maintenance because uh we're not smelting the copper fast enough with low maintenance yeah i know uh, we're just completely out of copper which is bad uh very bad uh you know what if i pause you you'll stop consuming copper which means we should get maintenance back on track, I hope. Global need, 150. Yeah. 
Level Boom boosted out the Wazoo. So we should be good. Uh... We should be good. Should be good. 1%. We might need an extra truck here. And iron has now solved itself. Uh, coal, we've actually finished digging through the section of the mountain that I set up originally. And... We're going to cancel all of that. And I think... Uh, rotate that around... We're going to start cutting into the ground. Uh, bring that back up, please. Yeah, we can come out a couple of tiles wider. Sure. Alright. So, that should fix our coal problem. Maintenance is going to get there slowly. We can now unpause you. Because it looks like copper is mostly sorted. Oh no, we're short on workers. Awesome. And you... Less than three months. <sighs> okay, I do not want to upgrade you yet. Because you'll, again, cost workers. Um, what can we do to improve our situation? When it comes to workers. Not really anything. Yeah, we need more people. Again. Uh, okay, we're going to do that. I'm going to set you to a nice low priority. Because I really want this finished. Uh, you need 60. You need 60. You need 100. And you need 50. Well, that's more expensive than I thought. Okay, so let's go through these very quickly. Uh, oh, that's wrong. Uh, new refugees. Problem solved. Uh, another 16 people. Okay, so that should... Good. I oh, know we've already hit upgrade on the next one. Okay, so I actually needed to come. Oh, I might not have enough room. I oh, know we got enough room. Okay, so I want you to output products in the X to make sure that the heavy oil goes in here first. Uh, and then the excess will get flared off. We're going to output priority to you. Outgoing products to O. Uh, which is going to be fuel gas. Yes. Uh, we're now chewing 500 kilowatts worth of power. Wow. Uh, what does that mean? Not a power? Why for not enough power? Doing this, we should have lots of power. We do have a lot of power. Rubber maker has no recipe selected. Oh! Uh, we want you to do the naphtha recipe. Okay. Because that's what we designed it for. So we need... Technically, we don't need that or that. Let's pause you and pause you. We just need this build building running. So we're going to prioritize that. And maintenance is back on track. We've turned you off from doing iron. Unfortunately, I don't seem to find a way to empty out what materials we have. Uh, we can probably remove the boost. Probably. Well, that's very full. You... No, you don't have a whole bunch of people you've got. Okay. Whilst we're at it. Whilst we're waiting on things. You require level 1 construction pump. Perfect. Okay. You're going to output 12, and you're going to output 12, and you do use 24. Okay, so that's a 1 to 2. Uh, we're going to put you... Here. Population increase, new refugees. Probably means it's about time to pause that one. 
that one. Thank you. Uh, Alright, so we want transport. Unfortunately, this does cost level two parts. That goes into there, that goes into there. And then water, we should. Uh, be able to tag that in there. Actually, cancel. Cancel and cancel. Pipe. From here at height two, bring it all the way along between the building and then into there. And I can still tag off that. Perfect. Okay. Are you done by any chance? No. Even though you have priority set to you. Oh, quick deliver. Quick deliver. Alright, so. Oil into medium, into light, into naphtha, uh, into rubber. The only catch is uh, you need water, which we haven't plugged in quite intentionally. Uh, so height two uh, to about here somewhere. And then you again height two, height two into there. And I need some high pressure steam to kickstart this whole process. Uh, all those pipes are running the right way. Yes. Okay. So we're going to take off this pipe. Uh, again, uh, actually, mm, we'll see. Twenty-seven parts. Uh, it's forty-two parts. Forty-eight parts compared to well, forty tier second tier two parts. Let's build the cheapy ones because I have plenty of those in stock. All right, so you have water, which is flowing into there. You need 48 water and you need 48 water, which does mean automatically I'm going to need a second one of those guys. I so built that terribly wrong. Uh... Sure. Alright, uh, can we get rid of that? Thank you. Alright, so that's some high pressure steam, which hasn't made it anywhere yet. In theory, this process just needs to be kickstarted. Once it's kickstarted, it should be fine. So. You don't have any coal. It's back to that coal issue. Okay, are you full? You are. This was all planned out to build that belt as well. All right, so with coal, has steam, has more steam, as that looks like a production line running. So you have steam. You might not have a lot, but you should have enough. Uh, you should... So you should be making heavy oil, plus sour water, plus the medium oil. The medium oil is in the pipe and going into the next machine, which has a little bit of steam, and should be making diesel and light oil. The light oil with some more steam is getting turned into naphtha. Naphtha should be going to the tank, flowing straight out of the tank and into here, making rubber. But no products assigned. So what happens if there's no products assigned? 
it just auto fills with whatever goes in first. Good to know. Okay, and as for your fuel gas, that's coming into here. Oh no, it's going to there still. So that's full, and then once it's full, we'll flare it off. All right, it now means that I should pause this pipe. That steam looks like it's paused in the pipe. Do we have any other flow indicators? No. There's one down there. Great. It has 10 in it now. Great. So we're going to unpause that. Yep. Steam is definitely flowing. We're going to dump that into the... Oh, hang on. You need a lot of water. And you need a lot of water. And that bell's not there. Okay, so as long as we have coal and power, things should run. But I also have a problem uh, that you need to be built. Plus every single pipe along here has to be taken up to tier 2 because you're using 48 water and... You're using 48 water. Alright. Uh, have heavy oil. Heavy oil, heavy oil. I think that's... We're going we're gonna to risk it. And I'm going to remove that whole pipe. Okay. I sort of want this done first. Because these pipes need to be upgraded. That is 51 parts to get all the way back to there. And we actually need to come well past there, all the way up to here, which is another 46. Alright, so let's do 18. Let's get you done first. You done second. And then after they're done, we can backtrack. No steam, no steam, steam, steam. Okay, we've got 18 steam in there, so we have plenty of steam. Uh, now, you're going to use... Oh, we, we Maybe we're okay. So you're going to use... You're going to make 48 steam from 48 water, but you're only going to use 6, 9, 12. 12 and 48 is technically 60, which is technically the throughput of the pipe. So technically we're okay. Technically. We only produce 48. So we still need you running. Alright, so job number one, get this belt done. Which will then move coal further along. Yeah, I need a construction part. Where are my construction parts? Uh you're actually going flat out. Uh, copper is still not great. We don't have power either. Because we pushed our power limit. Because we uh, sort of overdid things a little bit. Power was so good 10 minutes ago. Alright, can I... Missing input. We're turning you off. We are dismantling that. Truck import off. Truck export on. I want an empty button. Please empty the building. Low power. Okay. So that looks like it's running. You've burnt through all our copper reserves. That belt is now done. You have coal. You're just short on water. Oh, and power seems to have solved itself. Okay. If I take missing input. So not quite. I'm going to take you off auto balance. We're just going to run one of you flat out. 
at the same time... Okay, so that should give us 60 water per second. But I'm going to do the process. We're going to upgrade all the pipes. I think it's a bit much. I don't think we actually need to upgrade the pipes. But I'm going to do... Oh, no, we won't do that one just yet. We're going to do it anyway. So, you... Three, four, five, you're a little bit short. Little bit short. You've got auto balance on, you've got auto balance off. We are slowly adding to the flywheel. So I call that successful. You have water. You have too much. Priority output X. Oh no, so you have too much medium oil. Oh, that's a good thing to have. Okay. And you're outputting too much petroleum because you haven't been turned off. Oh, hang on. You're making 20... Or you're also making 24. So we should now be able to turn you off, have all the fuel now for actual trucks. Ah, uh, yeah, you're fine. You have steam, you have steam, you have steam. Steam pipe, pipe is not full of steam, but it has water, it doesn't have heavy oil. So it should be fine. Full. Hmm. I should have a net gain out of this system. I should have just a little bit of extra. Uh, pipes. Oh, blue pipes. Blue pipes for high pressure water. God, that is much faster. When it wants to be. Okay. Coals running. Plastics out. Uh, rubber's running. Oh yeah, we got all the rubber. 87. We don't have all the rubber, but we've at least got some rubber. And as far as I can tell, if I want to increase production, I should be able to just duplicate this whole build right beside it. And potentially right beside that, you know, providing some other things are not in the way. And I could probably even shrink it down a tile or two. Possibly. But I think we can call this a win. I think we can call this a win. And we now have oil up and running. It is very water heavy. Um, just because we need to bring the water in to boil the water. But it seems like that has fixed itself. I'm really loath to turn on the auto balance again. I just have to turn on all your balls once the shaft is nearly fully charged to save the input product from being wasted. The production will resume once when the shaft's charge gets low. Keep in mind when the turbine starts, it takes some time to get to full power. <laughs> Missing input. Okay, it's now running flat out. It's now running flat out. I think we can now call that a win. I think we can definitely call that a win. You guys are going flat out. Alright, now I'm confident to turn back on uh, the auto balance. You've been turned off, you've been turned off because you are almost running flat out. And then as this drops down, you should kick back in any time now. Any time now. Working. Six. Seven. And then flies back up. Okay. I call that a successful episode. We will unpause. Actually, you first. 
Uh, sorry. You first, which is 100 parts, and you second, which is 60 parts, which are going to take some while to, uh, a while to get built. Uh, obviously, copper is an issue currently, and I think the best solution for that is... Probably. Whatever. We'll do that next episode. I'm going to call it here. I call this a successful episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I have no idea what we're going to do next because, like, we've got oil up and running now. We've got fuel up and running. I think I want to experiment and see whether I can get a second fuel station over here. Not necessarily to transport the fuel across with... Uh... Wrong button. Um... With... A pipe. But I'm wondering if I can truck fuel to a re refueling station and then have the local trucks grab it from here. Just trying to, like, I know it's double handling, but I think double handling is sometimes more efficient rather than having all the trucks drive all the way across the map. Uh, but yeah, we're going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I really, really hope that if you're struggling with oil, you found this video helpful. And you click, click, get a click the subscribe button for me. Anyway, that's it. We're out. Thanks for watching. Bye.